What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. You all look stunning, you all look amazing. And today I'm going to talk to you about the top five cashback apps that I use each and every month to save me money. So without further ado, let's get into it right now. Starting with number five, I use Ibotta. Okay, so I'm pulling up Ibotta here. And as you can see on the app, there's basically all different types of stores you can get cash back on. I will start by showing you guys what you can get as far as cash back for beer and wine. Not that I am advocating that anyone go drink. If you're gonna drink, drink responsibly. But if you drink responsibly, you might as well make some money off it. So this is just any wine, any liquor store. You can get $3 back on Pat's Blue Ribbon. You can get three fifty dollars on Smirnoff. Whatever drink <laughs> that you choose to get, you can get cash back on. So it is very handy for that. I also, I don't drink very much, um, so I usually just use it for groceries. So that's what I'll show you guys is probably what most of you would use it for. So just pick any grocery store you want. They have a ton. Um, and basically how it works, it look, you can get 20 cents cash back on a gallon of milk if you want. It's any item, 10% cash back on that receipt there. Um, so if you just go to that store, you'll get 10 cents back no matter what, and then you can choose different things. But basically how Ibotta works is select your grocery store of choice, and then you go down the list and you just select things that you normally would buy. Don't go out of your way to buy anything you wouldn't otherwise usually get. Because it doesn't make any sense to go spend $10 on something to get 75 cents cash back if you wouldn't buy it anyway. But if you're the type of person that's you're going to buy an Apple or whatever, get the 25 cents cash back. So pretty much if you're just organizing your grocery list, you know, before you make it to the store, just go through here, see if your daily purchases or, you know, your normal purchases, I should say, would have any sort of cash back on them. Then you have to take a picture of the receipt and you have to upload it to the app. That is proof. And once you do that, cash back usually comes within 24 hours and they pay via PayPal or Venmo. I have made $451.03 um, on Ibotta um, or however you want to say it. I've either I've been paid it. You can say I've, I've saved it or I've made it. It doesn't really matter. It's just it's money in your pocket. But um, Ibotta has paid me through uh, PayPal $451. And I have a team down here um, basically saying that um, – you know, that I'm, this is where I rank. I'm number three. I'm not even number one on my own team. That, that sucks. But um, it's just people you're connected with on Facebook. They become part of your team. So it's not really anything special. But yeah, so 450 bucks cash back. Again, you know, it's not bad. It's just saving money at the grocery store. Um, so, you know, it's pretty legit. And if you ever want to go and figure out how to use Ibotta, you have questions, there is this what is Ibotta thing on the app. All right, the number four app that I use to save me money each and every month is Dosh, which is similar to Ibotta, but it's a bit more passive because you don't have to upload any receipts. All you do is you scan a credit card to the app, and every time you swipe that card at one of their partner stores, you get cash back automatically. Okay, so I am pulling up Dosh here, and it is similar to Ibotta. The best part about it is you do not have to upload any receipts. You just scan your credit card, similar to scanning a credit card for Uber or Lyft. It looks like you get 80 cents back, by the way, if you open up Uber through Dosh first. And um, if you swipe your card at any of their partner stores, you automatically get cash back. And once you reach, I believe, $25 on Dosh, you are able to cash out on Ibotta. It's a little bit less at 20 now, Dosh has some vendors um, on there like hotels. I personally am a foodie, so anytime I'm using this app, um, I try to use it for food. And um, this is what I have in my Dosh account so far is 5 bucks. I've already been paid $28.85. I've gotten paid a few other things. Looks like I got $10 for buying a coffee table at Macy's. Um, they do have referral codes, so um, the $5 that I have in there right now is a referral. So um, if you user referral code, you should get $5 and the person who signs you up gets $5 as well. But scrolling over here, I see some restaurants. I am going to open up IHOP because I love pancakes. You get 5% cash back if you're going to eat at IHOP anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bringing the countdown to number three on our top five cash back apps that I use to save money. That brings us to Rakuten. And Rakuten is really great because there's just a website you go on and pretty much if you just open Rakuten before you're gonna do online shopping, it gives you cash back automatically. It can be from anywhere, 
from 3% cash back all the way up to I have seen and received 8% cash back. So typically when I do online shopping, if I'm gonna do any, which admittedly isn't that much, I always open Rakuten first to make sure that I'm getting the best deal possible. So here is what I love about Rakuten. You basically just go onto their website. Looks like I pulled up JCPenney's, um, but you can pull up any store that you like to shop at or you know, just, just any vendor that you like to go to, whether it's Expedia or Bed Bath & Beyond or what have you, and you can see the cash back options that you're going to get. And it basically just accumulates um, into your Rakuten account. And I believe they send you a check every quarter. So right now I have $59.36 in my Rakuten account. I have been paid by them before, um, um, a couple bucks before. I mean, this is actually a new account. I have a new email address that I um, signed up for this account. But look, you get 5% cash back on Amazon. You, I mean, there's there's all sorts of awesome spots on this. Um, so if you're going to do online shopping, you might as well open up the Rakuten first and get cash back. And going back to see all stores here, um, they just have they have so many vendors that they partner with. Let's look at, at Expedia. Um, let's say you're going to go on a trip. You want 14% cash back on your flights or hotel. Just book the trip through Rakuten on Expedia, of course, but through Rakuten first and get your cash back. All right, so that brings us to number two, which is Groupon. Now, Groupon is amazing. They have awesome deals. My wife and I booked a couple's massage at this bougie place in Seattle. It's crazy. This place is normally $475, and we bought it on Groupon, and we got $200 off. Now, here's where it gets even crazier. I just talked about Rakuten, which is the website that you can basically go on first, to shop deals, to get cash back, you can actually go on Rakuten and search Groupon. So you can find deals on Groupon, and as long as you opened up Rakuten first, you can get cash back on that deal. So specifically, that couple's massage that I bought for me and my wife for Valentine's Day, it was amazing. It would normally cost $475. I bought it on Groupon for, I think, um, $275. But then I opened it up first through Rakuten, so I got cash back. I think I got $18 cash back from Rakuten. So you guys definitely want to use the combination of Groupon with Rakuten. If you're going to find, if you're going to look for a deal, try to find a deal on Groupon. And if you're going to use Groupon anyway, open it up first through Rakuten so you get a good deal and you also get cash back on that deal that you bought. Okay, so typing in Groupon here. Um, this is awesome. 12% cash back. Um, that on, is on certain categories, so some will be less, um, but up to 12% cash back. It's amazing. So I freaking love Groupon. It is awesome. And of course, when you open it up through Rakuten, you're getting an additional 12%. So I've done this, the trampoline world, Defy Seattle. It's pretty dope. Um, I'm a, I don't know. I'm weird. I like trampoline parks. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean so many things I'll type in, uh, Let's see, I'll type in shooting range because I am a bad boy. So let's see what deals we get on shooting ranges. So boom, okay, so it was 75 and it was 55 down to 44 bucks. So not, you know, not a crazy, it's not like super cheap, but if you're gonna go to the shooting range anyway, you might as well get a deal and then you might as well get cash back. So scrolling down, they just have all sorts of deals, um, you know, depending on where you live. And there's, you know, different types of things. There's activities, there's trips, there's uh, goods that you can buy. Um, looks like this is archery. I actually did take an archery course and I did do it on Groupon. So, um, yeah, and I did fencing through Groupon and helicopter lessons through Groupon as well. Um, but type in massage. Looks like they have, ooh, they have one over here uh, on the right, $24.80. Marked down from 169 and 24 bucks or 25 bucks, let's say, for a one hour massage. That's cheap. That's pretty cool. And you're still getting cash back on Rakuten as well. So basically, you're getting the deal on Groupon and then you get the, the cash back because you open it up through Rakuten. So absolutely, you guys should, should do this. Um, I'm going to include links to all these things in the description below. Um, but it's just such a great way. Oh, and check this out. So here's the fine print. So um, cash back is the next day. Getaways are 3%. Goods are 2%. Uh, 
and health. Oh, so like a massage, 12%. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video and you are in for a treat because I'm about to talk about the number one cash back app that I use to save money. But before I talk about that final number one app, I do want to discuss some honorable mentions. First, we have Drop, which is an app similar to Dosh and Ibotta. Personally, I haven't used them that much. I think I just have it running in the background. All I've really gotten from it is like an AMC gift card, but hey, a free movie is a free movie. The other honorable mention I would like to discuss here is Upvoice, which is basically a Chrome extension that you can add to your browser. It does sort of track your stuff, so I'm not really one that uses that too much, but I at least thought I'd, I'd bring it up here for anyone that may not care, or if you, if you know more about it, feel free to comment down below, but apparently it's an app that basically it runs in the background on your computer. It, they wanna figure out what people are spending money on and then they go sell that information, but they pay you. <laughs> so um, my thought is advertisers on Facebook, on Instagram, chances are they already have your info, so you might as well get paid for it. Um, but yeah, but now getting down to the number one way to save money is definitely a company called Ask Trim. The number one app that I use to save money is called Ask Trim. Now Ask Trim is phenomenal. They have saved me over $3,000 and I kid you not, I did nothing. Here's what I did to get Trim to work for me. Trim is basically a company where they negotiate your bills for you. They can look at Comcast and Verizon and Wave Cable, whoever you have, T-Mobile, and they basically just use an AI bot to, to work on chat to negotiate your bills down for you. So they have saved me over $3,000 uh, on all of my stuff, and I highly recommend that. I am logged in here to my back office of Trim, and as you can see, they've saved me many times, uh, large amounts, 800 bucks, 120 bucks. On Verizon, they saved me $30. They can save you all sorts of different uh, amounts on all sorts of different bills. So um, yeah, 500 bucks again on Comcast. So if I go to my home screen, you can see that in total, they have saved me $3,277. Let me refresh so you know it's not a screenshot, you know it's legit. Um, yeah, and basically what you do is you just, you sign up for Trim, and then every couple of months, uh, what I do is I download a PDF copy of my bills, whether it's for cable, internet, um, you know, phone, whatever, and then I email it to Trim, and they do their thing. They get uh, their artificial intelligence robot to use chat to basically go negotiate your bills down for you. Um, and it is awesome. Well, guys, that is basically it for today's video. Thank you again so much for tuning in. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I'm coming out with all sorts of content, all designed to help you save money, make money, and multiply that money so you can live a financially independent life. All right, guys, peace.